So I have stability matrix installed, which allows me to install ConfyUI, which is what you see. So I have a bunch of different nodes that do things and the output can be images, videos and something else. Now, if I go to workflow, I can choose from a bunch of templates for this specific workflow. Well, currently this is offline, so I cannot show you. So at the moment I'm doing some plugin update and while that is doing, I can show you that during the night I have made 756 images that can all be viewed inside this plugin. And this one can also be adjusted. So you can adjust the height and the width if you want to see bigger images without having to actually open the images but the window does get in the way. But if you don't need to see the node setup, this is how you can easily see the images that were generated. Now, what do I also have? Well, this will be the node setup. Currently, it's still in the making, at least the last one when it comes to the naming. And mostly not about the name, but to actually save what is being generated. So I can show you this. So whatever is being generated inside here. So I have a bunch of wild cards. Anything that you see with an underscore is basically a text file. And it has a bunch of properties that I've put in. So in this case, we have a techie person. The person is being replaced by big orc and all of the other stuff. I will show you the files, but this is basically the whole text. And this is appended every time an image is generated and I'm making four images at once. So that is why I have a lot of images, but these images will be hard to rename as opposed to something like this one, which was just ConfuI and the number of the image. So currently I'm looking into outputting this into separate files, maybe a CSV file, because currently it's connected to the save image output file name, but otherwise everything is working as intended. Now I'm generating images randomly. This is what is responsible for that. And what you may notice is that if I disconnect like so, will have a positive prompt, but you don't really see this dot. So this is an input. If you have an older version of ConfUI, you can simply right click and you'll have an option down here, convert to text input. Because this is a text, you can simply connect it to what you have converted the input, but now you don't have that option and you can simply to the gray dot. And it's exactly the same with the file name prefix. As you can see, it just has a gray dot. Right, so about the file names, I have a wildcard folder. This can be anywhere that you want, at least with the Perez wildcard node. So you simply put the absolute path to the wildcards which in my case is this. And I have a bunch of files inside and each file looks like this. So first I have a person.txt, nothing special. You can just put anything that you want. So this could be fantasy characters, real characters, anything that you want. And every time this is run, so when the queue is launched, a new workflow will be generated. So that means that it will randomly choose between one of the options. Then I have a hair color and a hair style. Then we have the object property, which is this one. And I use the object property twice, once with the object and the other time with the wearable. And then lastly, we have the scene. I've set it to blurry, so it's not fully blurry, but these are the scenes that I have. 
Uh, most of the time, I would say something that has to do with a shipyard or ships uh, just doesn't look as good. In some cases, it does. Maybe the ship is okay, but definitely not. But definitely not the shipyard. At least I don't like it. And the styles were pretty wild. I went for something like this. So 2D illustration kind of vibe. But then I got something like this, which is, well, obviously 3D. And because of that, I am now using these negative prompts. The 0.5 at the end should help to really push the limit. So it does not do, well, 3D stuff like this. But I also do not have a lot of examples where all four of the images would be unusable in my case. But it just means that it takes extra time to get something usable. As for how long something like this can take, well, it depends on the actual prompt. But if we go to maybe the beginning, so 7 minutes, 10 minutes, this was the longest one, at least when I was still up, less than 2 minutes. So we have 10 minutes and less than 2 minutes. So some prompts were really fast. A lot of them I see less than two minutes and then something happened unless this is now the downloading that I'm doing yeah it is so this is the downloading that's happening so that's why I can't really access the workflow that I wanted to show you basically when you have the stability matrix installed you can install stuff like confui which is all of this and you can then install a bunch of plugins which is what this is, and also the manager, so Confui manager, I do suggest you install this one because it allows you to install nodes easily. Now I'm installing this one at the moment, was new suit. Now what else have I installed? Let's see, I think the show text. So I do not have the show text installed, but I can use it, and I avoid nodes that have any conflicts. So when it comes to the nodes, I do have J nodes. So you go to the nodes and here I have, let's see, well, we don't see all of it. And that's because I have to make this smaller. So I have wildcard down here and this is the node. You can use different nodes that also have wildcard functionality. But the ones that I've tried did not actually work. This one did. As mentioned, you will simply put the path here. You can copy and paste it and you have to press OK. Then the mode can be seed or index. I just use seed so it's different every time. And the control, I simply leave it to randomize, but you can have it as fixed, increment or decrement. I would maybe use the fixed one if you find a seed that actually produces the style that you actually want, but if you actually don't know which seed gives you a good result, well then randomize it is. Now when it comes to the workflow, this is what has already been loaded. So this is a template and I have only added these two nodes. When it comes to a template, you have a lot of them. Currently we won't be able to see them because well, Confi is not running because it's still updating, but I think I went to images and use this one, the SD 3.5 simple. So this one gives you realistic looks. The only downside maybe is this file. Now when you open the template, it will give you a pop-up if this file is missing and you can simply download it. And where you then have to put it is I have stability matrix, packages, conf UI, models, and checkpoints. I believe this one is it. So 13.9 gigabytes. So it took some time to download. And while you may use other models, you most likely won't get the results that you want. The K sampler node, I left this one to default. I just specified some negative prompts and connected the wildcard to this default input, which is a bottle in a galaxy. 
and gives you a result similar to this one. And this is something that I have just tested out with one of the wild cards, it made a curvy glass. Now the only downside of having these many images is that, well, we actually have to go through them, select them, and well, ideally you would just be able to delete the ones that you don't need or remove the ones that you do to someplace else and then rename them. And I have shown you in the previous video on how you can easily rename the files. And the conf UI is now updated. Reload. So I've shown you previously everything else because I have now lost the progress as you can see. But I can now go to the workflow and show you the template that I've used. It's this one with this image. You have other ones, but do take note on the bottom what it actually does. So this one has edge detect, this one has depth, this one has blur. Maybe you could use this one if you need high details or maybe this one depends on how realistic you want the images to be. Or maybe you want something that has style and this one is image to guide image. So if you already have an image, you can also do stuff like this. But for my simple purpose, this is what I needed. And also what I did change is down here by default, the width and the height are set to 512 and you have batch size of one. So every time this is run, it will only make one image. Now it makes four images. And if you just want to go AFK, you can set this to run instant. So when this is running, it's not currently, it will make four images and when it's complete, it will continue creating four images each time it finishes. Now let me see if I can actually use the save node. So save text file. So I guess I connect this to the text. I can now disconnect this one. File name prefix conf UI, the same as this one. And the suffix, maybe I'll just leave it as is, though I do need to change the path. Where would this actually be output? Maybe I'll just give the full path so it's inside this folder with the images. But I do have to change the slashes, so it's a forward slash. Though ideally what I wanted to do is to save to a CSV file every time a new prompt is generated and it is just put in a new line. Maybe that is also something that is possible to do, but for now I think I'll just use this one and let's see how long this will take. If it actually does something and what it did is it bugged out. So maybe the GPU is being hammered, so I will pause the recording and come back once the generation is done, if it is done. So no bueno, the last prompt took 12 minutes, which is the most out of all of them. But as you can see, everything is frozen and it has done just these four images. So I would say something is wrong with probably this note with the was. Though maybe it is just an issue with this workflow. So let me use another template because maybe something got messed up within this template. Who knows? I'll simply copy these two nodes and open a new workflow again, which was this one. Paste the nodes in, connect this one down here. That should be it change the dimensions. So this one has 1024 by 1024, but I just use these values. And maybe this was from another workflow that I found. This also gives me the most closest result that I also previously had. Close that workflow and test out this one. Then this workflow now runs as it should. As you can see, I can move everything. So when you use nodes, I guess something can get bugged out. 
within the workflow that you are using so you may need to make a new one so i suggest to just make a backup of the original workflow before you make any changes to it as you saw any changes even just downloading some additional plugins can break the workflow even though you don't use them let's see how well this will do currently it's still buggering all over the place at least as you can see from the audio so i will stop it and come back once the generation is done as you can see i was messing about a bit more with the setups and the settings i think just using the randomized seed is okay though in that case some images may not be the best at least for my needs it's quite easy to set up as i have shown you and in some cases like this one the image does look decent well at least not in its full size but if you don't like the maybe graininess you do have the option to specify it so just increase the steps maybe to 30 ish so the default value was 20 and the cfg value the default value was 4 and you do have to press enter for the values to take effect i did try some negative prompts but as you can see this image is still 3d as is this one so so when it comes to the negative prompts i would still have to mess about and testing them out but for what is worth i think this is okay now if you want to make something similar using dynamic prompts you can use let's say chat gpt to get a bunch of wild cards based on what you actually want to do and simply call these files with double underscores or is it dashes so dash dash type the file name and let me zoom in dash 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 so two double dashes not the minus so two double dashes the file name and two double dashes you can also use a node so if you right click add a node go to utilities and node and inside the node you can then simply type in all of the wildcard names so you know which ones you have available and maybe even just copy them maybe even do it like so so you can simply copy and paste it into the prompt if you want to know why I need these images, it's for a project that I'm working on called Ghostprint. The digital side of it is mostly complete, but I still need to make the analog side of it. So basically a custom control board. And if you want to know how I'll be doing that, I do have some videos on my other channel, Jackal DIY and Tech. But that's it for this video. If you want to see more digital stuff, subscribe to the channel. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackal, keep it digital.